Uh, now then, she spent the past four years playing army medic Georgie Lane, but as Michelle Keegan prepares for her final series of Our Girl, what's in store for her last tour? Oh, oh, bless. Well, Michelle's joining us live from home now. Good morning, Michelle. It's lovely to talk to you today. So, as we good saw... Morning. Then, good morning. We good morning. Just look, we, we were just saying then, what's one of the pluses of the fact that we now very seldom can have guests here on the sofa is that uh, <laughs> they're happy to call in from home and the first thing everybody does is go... Oh, let's have a look. Nice house. Hello, nice Mama. room. I've cleaned. I've cleaned. <laughs> well done. My house has never looked so clean. <laughs> uh, so, listen, let's talk about the series then, because at the end of series three, I mean, it was a literal cliffhanger that you left yes. us on. So, where do we start? Where do we find her? So, Georgie is back in the UK and she's training a new batch of medics. Um, and I think there's an underlining sense of grief still for Elvis. There's a few flashbacks that we see earlier on in the, in the series. Um, and, you know, everything seems happy, but there is something bubbling under the surface for Georgie. We didn't, Two seconds. We didn't see her jump. We didn't see them jump. So at the end of the last series, they're right there uh, on the edge of a cliff. There's a drug cartel coming at, at, after them. Yes. They're in a massive shootout. The only way is down and we don't see them jump. No, and, you, and the thing is, you don't know who survived because not, it's not touched upon. It's like, like moved on down the line. Like, she's got a promotion now, she's a sergeant. Okay. Um, two, the few two sections are still around. They get deployed oh, back the to Afghan. I know. Look, see, what's, it's all going wrong already. I'm shutting my door. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I'm back. <laughs> um, they get deployed back to Afghan, and she's conflicted whether to go or not. I... Right, OK, I understand. And so this sort of, you know, she's sort of getting back, she's been promoted, so things are going all right. But you mentioned Elvis there and, you know, the flashbacks are there and she's almost not had time to grieve and it's almost now that she's decided to stay at home to work mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. that now she's got this time to grieve and these problems are coming. Yeah, I think there is an underlying sense of PTSD with Georgie. So she's sort of... She is grieving, but she's swept it under the carpet, and I think it does surface um, throughout the whole of this series. And um, and so, what about romance? Uh, because the you know, the, I think people would like to think that there was going to be something with Captain Charles James, but that's not on the cards. No, unfortunately, he's not back this season. Um, I mean, I think that would George, make it difficult. That would make it yeah. tough if he's not in it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, and I think with George, she's, she's married to a job in a sense. Like she is very independent. She she puts a job first. Um, and I think for her, it's just trying to get over the death of Elvis. She's, she needs closure for that. Mm -hmm. And I think with this series, you see that journey for her. What else you see is uh, you're, you are doing huge stunts. Uh, there is something oh, involving a car. I did just explain what this is, because this was quite an extraordinary thing. Yeah, so we had a Jeep. This, at the start of the series, you see um, it was upside down in a Jeep, and we got... Um, we got that built by stunt guys and we had to sit in the car and, and literally the car got turned upside down oh, wow. on an apparatus. Um, and we were upside down so honestly it felt like a lifetime. I froze because I don't like heights anyway and I remember looking at Roland who plays Kingy and he literally saw me panic, the panic in my eyes and he undid my seatbelt for me just to get me out. But honestly, it was it was really, really frightening. And I know it doesn't look much, but when you're doing it, it's terrifying. No, it does. And so actually what we'll get to see tonight is is not acting, it's real fear. No, that, that's real fear. That is real, <laughs> real fear. Um, so obviously now, very uncertain times for everybody. Um, yeah. Is it weird for you... I'm assuming that you're like us. Well, Holly and I have got this morning and that's pretty much all that's happening in our world. So uh, is it the same for you? Yeah, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm keeping busy. I've been doing jigsaws non-stop. Big fan of jigsaws now. Um, and been doing home workouts. I've been obviously taking the dogs for a walk in in places where no one else is, so, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, and obviously, like I said, cleaning the house. My house has never looked so clean, ever. <laughs> Where's Mark? So I'm What's enjoying he... it. I'm, what... I'm, in, I'm enjoying being home and being with my dogs and Mark. And I just want to say a big hello to all my family and friends who are watching, by the way, who I haven't seen for a long time. 
Um, normally they're at work, you see, so I know they're watching this morning. So, oh. hi, guys. Oh, that's nice. And and the thing is, you've, you know, you've loved being part of this series. It's been brilliant, and yet you've decided now to step away from it. And part of that was yeah. because you did want to have the time at home because, you know, this was filming away a lot. Um, and yeah. so that was part of the decision to spend more time at home. Yeah, yeah, it was. I've done it for four years now. Um, and for me, it was just having, you know, to explore other opportunities. Um, and you are away from home for quite a long time. So it was a hard decision because I absolutely love the job. I do. Uh, yeah, and uh, and also, I, mean, you, I think probably because of that, you've seen quite a few amazing parts of the world. Yeah, and this time we filmed in South Africa, which we have been to before, but previous we've been in Nepal, South Africa, Malaysia. Um, so it's one of them bittersweet things, really, you know. I, it's very hard, but I've also been able to travel the world and seen places that I, I never would have thought I could go. Yeah. What's the name of the dog? Well, there's two at the minute. There's Pip and they're sniffing at the door to try and get Let in. They in. don't leave Let me alone. In. Let them in. All right, all right. <laughs> Come here. Come here. They don't leave me alone. What are they? Let's have a look. They're, ah, they're really ah, enjoying spending time there with There you go. So sweet. I don't know where Pip is. I don't know where Pip, Pip's a barky, you see. She's a chihuahua. Oh She's the rock miler of the household. Look at him looking at you. <laughs> so cute. Well, listen, the series that we're talking about, of course, is Series 4. It's tonight at 9pm on BBC One. Um, it's lovely to talk to you. Look after yourself, Michelle. Love to Mark as well. Thank you. Take Thank care. You, Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Lovely to see Bye. you.